some of you may already know, I robbed my 92 millimeter fan off my old CPU cooler and installed it in the top of the PC case. A couple days ago, I had this idea of adding this 120 millimeter fan that used to come from back here by robbing one of these Dell proprietary brackets and placing it up there since there's no other way to add a fan up there. And if you actually take off the front of this panel, there is a place to add the fan up there. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna rob this fan bracket from up front and install the fan up there using screws to the front. And then we're going to use the bracket on this fan and install it up in here. That way there's a 120 millimeter fan up there instead of just a 92 millimeter. Let's get into it. All right, so first step, we wanna get this 92 millimeter fan out of here. I had it put in with these little rubber clips but it's time for an upgrade. Go ahead and disconnect this fan. There we go. All right, I think I wanna take this one out. We're gonna leave this one alone. So first step, we need to disconnect this fan from the motherboard, just like that. And also while we're at it, we want to disconnect this front header because we want to take this front plate off. So we want to go ahead and disconnect. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and take this fan out. Get our front panel off we're gonna have to go ahead and take off this side so you should just be able to come around here and pull just like that all right one more step we need to take off this top panel as well so what you're gonna do is put your fingers in these little holes push down with your thumbs it does help to get one side started and then use the little thumb trick is one in the top that we will have to take off. All right, so now kind of work all of these little clips together so you don't accidentally break one. Let's get this front panel off. Just like that. There's the back of our front panel. All right, now to add our fan back in, and we're gonna do it with our existing rubber clips. Should be pretty simple. See how our holes line up? Time to put our front panel back on. You're gonna to wanna to feed the, uh, the cord through this little hole right here. Snaps right into place, no problem. All right, now to reconnect our fan and our front panel. Let's go ahead and do the front panel first. It goes right up in that one. All right, 
Now for our fan. And it looks like we're using the fan system three header, which is just the one that it was already using to begin with. And there we go. Also something to point out is we're gonna make sure when we add this up here, that we have the fan blowing the air out of the case. At the time, I didn't want to uh, take this out because I thought it'd be an extra step. But because of that, whenever I put this in here, it's gonna suck air into the computer. We don't want that. So I will have to end up taking this apart and flipping the fan around. Just like that. That way when we add it in like that, it's gonna grab the air, push it that way. Let's go ahead and put these pins back in. All right, something I noticed when going to put this in is because this is not the actual bracket that's made to go up there, this little tab was supposed to be over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut that off with a small pair of dikes. And if you are worried about cutting the tab off, it literally serves no purpose whatsoever. It doesn't grab or, or do anything besides making a already specialized piece of mounting hardware even more specialized so that it can't even be used in the own case it was designed for. Now it should go in no problem. Yep. Easy peasy. Alright, now we have our top 120mm fan and our front fan all working just fine. I'll show in just a second. Uh, there was no BIOS errors and you didn't have to contact Dell to try to buy a bracket from them, which they should have just listed on their website. It shouldn't be a big deal, but they don't. So we had to do it this way. All right, now time for the power on test to see if we have any BIOS issues or anything like that. Let's go ahead and test it out. Perfect. Alright, as you can see, there was no BIOS issues whatsoever. Everything booted up normally. Now, I do need to note that the fan I used was a stock Dell fan, so I can't say if you'll get the same results with an aftermarket fan. I've heard some people say some work perfectly and some always give an error message during boot, but this upgrade is really only for people in a similar situation as me, where they upgraded their stock cooler, so they should have a spare 120mm fan laying around from that. If your Alienware came with liquid cooling, then you'll already have a fan in this spot. But for everyone else who doesn't want to deal with Dell's crap and their specialized brackets and hasn't thought of this idea yet, this is perfect for us. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video.